I found this post on uh, Vicky Dillard's Twitter page, and I have to say that Angela Rye, or as how Professor Black True calls her, Angela Rye with lettuce and tomatoes on the side, is an utter disappointment. I mean just that. I can't believe at one time I thought that this woman was smart, intelligent, and not bad on the eyes, to be quite honest. Because it's not like Angela Rye is a horrible looking person. It's not like we're talking about a crater face crunch bar here. But all of that gets negated with some of the shit that she has said over the last couple of months. She has literally shown and given us her ass to kiss. Gladly to say for me that I managed to dodge her ass cheeks. Because when I read this right here. You will know what type of person Angela Rye really is and what side she's really on and what she's really trying to push. She put out a tweet in response to the whole Nate Woods being executed type of thing, like a lot of people responded to this. But instead of her just saying, you know, sending condolences to the family or how outraged she is about the decision that's being made, she managed to find a way to insert something in there about voting. She says, another PSA on voting. Guess who has the power to determine whether an inmate at a state prison is executed? The governor. Hashtag Alabama Governor Kate Ivey received 1,022,457 votes in the 2018 election. Are you mad? Are you registered? Did you vote? Yes, it's this simple. Hashtag Nate Woods. Then she went on to say, when we tell you voting is a matter of life and death, I pray you think of the execution of Nate Woods and realize it's truth and not hyperbole. Loosely translated, Angela Rye had the nerve to sit her high yellow ass on this platform and in a, in a, a subliminal way blame black people not voting as the cause for the reason why Nate Woods got executed. When you really break it down, that's what she said. She sat up there and subliminally took a shot at black people, most likely black Americans, for the reason why Nate Woods got executed. It is not our fault that he got executed. We know what type of person K. Ivy is. I don't, Angela Wright, I don't know if you know what type of person she is. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But that chick is racist as hell. I did a video, or maybe a couple videos about her last year. But for you to sit up there and take this these shots at us as if we're not going to catch what you're saying. See, this is, the, this is the problem. This is the problem with a lot of these silly ass Negroes with these blue checks. Angela Rye is another one. Granted, she has a career. So I can see this. Not like she just got a blue check out of thin air because she talked about black girl magic or Black Lives Matter or whatever it is to go viral. It's the fact that she can sit up here on this platform and throw out some bullshit like this and think that none of us would catch it or think that none of us will go back at her for what she said. But she sat up there and blamed us for not voting or blamed people down in Alabama for not voting as the reason why this happened. As usual, It's always black people's fault for something like this. It always is for some reason. Like really look at what she said, especially at the last part. Are you mad? Are you registered? When I when I read when she says, are you mad? It comes off very childish, like almost real schoolgirlish, like like as if, you know how when someone says, "Are you mad?" If someone you if you get if you get in someone's face and they like, "Are you mad?" It almost sounds like fighting words to me. Like this chick is utterly ridiculous, and I should have known something about her was up when uh, what's her face Amarosa. As much as I don't care for her either, when Amarosa had got uh, fired by 45 and they had, and, she, and Angela Rye was up there on CNN and they were asking her and some other women on this panel how did she feel how did they feel about Amarosa being fired? Angela Rye going to be the only childish one up there, like ha ha. Ha! Like making fun of this um woman getting fired. 
Now, granted, you may have an issue with Omarosa, but that was not the time or the place to show your childish, like, immature ass on an international platform. For a woman that's supposed to be so educated, so degree, more degree than a goddamn thermometer, so well-spoken, you really threw all of that out the window that day. I will never forget that. I was utterly disgusted when I saw that. I was like, really, Angela? That was the that was the beginning of me looking at her with a side eye. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Omarosa. I'm not. But I have a feeling that if Angela Rye was in the position, if the shoe was on the other foot, and Angela Rye was the one who got fired from a position, and they asked Omarosa, how does she feel about that? I'm willing to bet Omarosa would not have acted in the way that she did. Like, and this was another, and the, and the fact of the matter at the end of the day, that was another black woman who was doing that and making fun of another black woman in that in that in mixed company like that on an international platform. Because I think it was other black women up there and the women were only laughing at Angela. They weren't laughing with her. They were laughing at her for how she acted on there. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But yeah, Angela Ryan, you 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 are a disappointment. That's worse than someone saying that they're mad at you, in my honest opinion. I always say when someone says that they are disappointed in you, I always said or equate that to being a level higher than being mad at someone. Because you expected more from this person, and then it seems like the more you expect from them, the more uh you didn't receive from them. And it's like almost like making an investment. You thought you was making a good investment in something or somebody. And then they let you down each and every time. That's a disappointment because then you lost out on a, what, what you thought could have been a good investment. You could have invested your funds or whatever your time elsewhere. Like when Angela Rye first came onto the scene, a lot of people were praising her. Like here you have this intelligent a black woman who worked her way through the inner workings to get into the position she is. And then when it comes to this damn election, everybody loses their damn minds. And everywhere else in between. I don't know what it is with some of these silly Negroes. I mean, you got Chuck D. You got Angela Rye. You have Roly Poly Martin. And a gang of others. Literally losing their minds when it comes to an election cycle. Mind you, these poly tr- these politicians wouldn't give us the time of day from the years of 2017 to 2000, uh, a portion of 2019. But when they need a vote, then that's when they want to come and talk to us. I'm like, do you not see what there what's going on here? Do you not see what is going on? And then she says, when we tell you voting is a matter of life and death, I pray you think of the execution of Nate Woods. So she's trying to use the election to, in a way, bastardize this situation that's going on with Nate Woods. If I was a family member of Nate Woods, I would... I would find a way to reach out to Angela Rye and have a quote unquote nice little discussion with her. I hope you see through the sarcasm or hear through what I should say. It would be a very nice lengthy conversation. Like how are you going to use elect elections in voting in a time like this? And when was this posted? On the si- on the 5th at 8.41 p.m. Literally just a couple of minutes before. Well, I don't know where she's located, so she could have been an hour behind. But yeah, I can't. I, I, I can no longer stand Angela Rye. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't stand her anymore. It's like it's been slowly building but this right here is at a boiling point. This right here was not needed. It was not needed. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Make sure you have your notifications turned on and I'll talk to you in the next one.